Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Shell Bell and I have lots of other videos on Real Care Babies. How to use the emergency stop and start on a Real Care Baby Generation 6. This is what the back of a Real Care Generation 6 looks like. You can see that he's currently in simulation because I've placed him on his head and he didn't appreciate it. If I want to stop him and turn him off, so I'm just going to sit him upright. So to turn him off, I need a straightened paper clip and I need to go to this little hole in his back. What I'm going to do is hold this paper clip in the little button for up to 15 seconds or until baby chimes six times. So all I'm going to do is very gently, it's very important that you are very gentle with this button as I have replaced these buttons before and they seem to break easily just because people have jammed whatever they can find in them. So we're going to press this in and hold it for six beeps. Baby should now be inactive. So I'm going to hold him upside down again. He's not crying. And I've just let his head fall back. He's not crying. So this baby is now off. It has been emergency shut down. To use this baby, you will need all of the accessories. So you will need two nappies, one white patch, one blue patch. You will need a key to get into the battery compartment. If you're lucky and the battery compartment is open, you won't need the key. If there's a slot cut into the battery compartment, you can use a screwdriver or a knife. But typically, you will need a special key that is rounded in a triangle kind of shape like this one. You will need a special bottle that has a magnet in the teat or the original Real Care bottle which also has a magnet in the teat. To power the baby you need four C batteries. If you're lucky enough to find a control you won't need to use this method but this is the control that will work with this baby as well as the long handle blue controller and the orange long handle controller. First thing we're going to do is open the battery compartment. We're going to insert the batteries. If you look here, this shows the way that the batteries are supposed to go. If your baby already had all four batteries in it, take one out for 15 seconds and then replace it and follow the steps from here. I forgot to mention that you will also need a paper clip. Once you place the last battery in, you will have five seconds to use a straightened paper clip and gently press the emergency stop start recessed button that is in the baby's back. This is the button here and if you gently press it, you should be able to hear that it makes a clicking noise. Be super careful with this button because I have recently repaired one so I know that they can definitely be damaged. Okay, so we're going to do it. The last battery goes in. Baby will be. Press the button three times. One, two, three. One, two, three. Perfect. Now you'll need your ID and you'll need to ID the back three times just as you normally would. 
That was so unfortunate. My camera died just as I was going to put the last ID in. So hopefully it's been a little while. So I've charged my camera back up. Hopefully it's going to let me put the last ID in. If not, I'm going to have to do it all over again. Alright, that's the third one. And now the baby should be on. I'm going to replace this cover. Oops, I need to close it, not open it. And now if I hang him upside down, he should cry because he should be in simulation. That is how you perform an emergency start on your Real Care Baby Generation 6. Just remember that to run this baby you will need all of the items that you can see here. A white and a blue nappy, a special modified bottle that has a magnet in it, the ID that you ID'd your baby with. You can have up to three IDs id to this baby as well. And it depends on what your back is, but you'll need a key if the box is not opened. I have seen some people tape these closed before, but if you have the key, then you'll need the key to open and close the battery compartment. 